colleague and worker in the environmental movement way before politics with David and Janice. I've always known the Conservation Council of New Brunswick for an extremely high quality. They set a high bar for groups that have way bigger budgets and, well, not, I went into the Green Party leadership race hoping I might be able to convince some good friends someday that it was time to actually start doing the icky work of politics. We've been doing great work as non-government organizations. And a lot of people ask me, why did you decide to jump into politics? I mean, I jumped, I mean, heck, I didn't join a political party until I was 52. It's not as if I hadn't had a lot of life experience and hadn't pushed it off for a long time. <coughs> but we're out of time for letting politicians handle politics. It's time for the grown-ups to take over and start delivering It was just in the same spirit that if war is too important for the generals, democracy is too important for a bunch of old, hacky parties that want nothing more than to gain power and have forgotten what the heck they want to do with it when they get there. New Brunswick needs Greens. New Brunswick, we met today, or we had a wonderful day meeting with students at University of New Brunswick and St. Thomas University. Yes, you guys. <laughs> and I had students say, my vision for 20 years from now is, can we get out from under the Irving zoning everything? <laughs> how do we get people, one student said to me, how do we get people to understand that the long-term vision is what matters? and that short-term decision-making means we lose out on protecting our future. Maintenant, nous avons besoin de nous en droit agir contre le chambre, la crise de changement climatique. On doit changer les politiques de, de conviance, de, de les, les, les décisions les plus faciles. On doit faire les décisions difficiles, parce que nous avons les défis et on doit faire face à les défis qui sont menace à notre, à notre avenir. So it's important for the planet that we see Greens do well everywhere, not because we're building a political party, because we're prepared to set aside partisan advantage to ensure that our kids have a livable world, and that's why every single Green candidate is running, whether in New Brunswick or Prince Edward Island or in Sweden or New Zealand or in Brazil or in Uganda, or now we're a Green finally got elected in Rwanda. Greens run everywhere. Because we share something in common. What we have in common is an understanding that we have a sacred obligation to our future, to our own children. We used to talk of future generations and the climate crisis as though it was out there. You know, you think, oh yes, my grandchildren's children. Given what's happening now, the flooding now, the forest fires now, sea level rise now, we're not talking about a future generation. We're talking about the children whose names we know and whom we tuck into bed at night. We are talking about our own children, and we have to secure their future, and it is not a political game, it's real.